opinion. In my 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 opinion. Today's In My Opinion is all about country living. Now, since the pandemic, we've heard a lot about people leaving cities, which are becoming increasingly expensive to live in and opting for life in the country, which are not, I would say, that much cheaper. But while many argue that leaving the city for the country is the stuff of dreams, our guest this morning is not so convinced. Comedian, author, former country lover, Dave Chawner. Hello, Dave. Good morning. How are you? Take us through your emotional journey here then, um, from being a, a sort of confirmed country bumpkin when you were growing up. Would that be right? <laughs> I, I, I just like the term bumpkin. I think that's just a very <laughs> funny word. But yeah, I, I, no, I grew up in the countryside, but I think that's the point. I grew up, my, my visions expanded. I wanted more from life than knowing that Jill at number 57 had had her gnome stolen or by looking at flood water and being obsessive about it and, and and so i think that there are opportunities there are people there are so many more things in the city than in the country and i think the hammer blow for this is whenever you try and buy a house especially even in the country they always tell you where the nearest big conurbation is you know oh it's it's miles away from birmingham manchester bristol wherever and i think that shows you that more people want the city than the country Mm, okay i've written a list of so i live sort of in the middle ish of nowhere so i've written a list of the things that i appreciate about it and i i love living in london i lived in bristol i've lived in cardiff i've lived in Dublin. I've done my cities, right? Um, but I do like it I'm where I am now. To this list. Uh, fresh air. <laughs> Lovely. It's a classic. Peace and quiet. Sick. Lovely. Fields and sunsets. Mm-hmm. I get to watch the sun setting um, just out in front of us. Uh, getting out, walking the dog, not having to go anywhere. I can walk out of the door pretty much with my dog off the lead and he can just run around, she even, whatever it well, is. It. Yeah. Um, kids, um, growing up. I, I mean, I do. We do sort of pretty much literally boot them out into the woods to go and to make dens and, you know, all you of that stuff. ferry them around to a lot of things. That <laughs> I spend do, don't you? my life right. in a and car. You, you wouldn't have to do that. And that living in a city. is a nightmare. Mm. Um, but all the other stuff, I think, makes up for it. Does none of that appeal to you, Dave? Well, I hate to break it to you, Rach. I think there are still sunsets in the city as well. Mm. So I think oh, that, that one. <laughs> Um, I, I also, uh, to be honest, a lot of your list actually proves me why the city is better than the country for me. There's, yeah, there's loads of kids around in the city. Don't want them, don't like them. Lovely stuff, I'm away from them. I think that's absolutely brilliant. What about brilliant. breathing in those delicious traffic fumes? Oh, I went and visited my family this year. It was about five minutes before I was sucking on an exhaust. I don't like clean, fresh air. I don't <laughs> think that's... I think it's overrated. I, I don't think it's... I don't think it's a good thing. What's so great about it? Um, it's probably slightly better for you, although I I, I will get um, then pulled up for not acknowledging that there are agricultural fumes and um, pollutants in the atmosphere, also in the countryside as well. What about... Um, what about just um, a sort of sense of of, of peace and and being at one with nature you cannot i know obviously there are green spaces and london has an abundance of them but you cannot beat the countryside for for just i suppose um yeah having an appreciation of the natural world around you get this i think this is absolutely bat poo that people have this kind of romanticism about nature if you love nature that much go and live in a tent the reason that we built houses is because the, the natural world to is keep nature cold. out yeah exactly literally that if you like it go and build a tree house but most people don't i i don't understand why people have this romantic idea and, and also like without being really boring about it that's actually only a, a, a very recent thing up until the 1800s the idea of the natural world was terrifying and all but i i've never understood that i've never what, what's so great about nature um I mean, I'm just going to leave that there and let other people contemplate that. Dave, you grew up in the countryside, didn't you? I did. I grew up in the Midlands. And how did you enjoy it, your childhood? I, 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 I had, I had a, a, a lovely time. I thought it was great. The people were uh, amazing. And, I, yeah, I really enjoyed it. But I think as you get older, your uh, horizons expand. And I think there's so many more things to uh, appreciate. I mean, I went back to my village this this year and I tried to pay on cashless and I was nearly burnt at the stake for being a witch. It's kind <laughs> oh, of... Oh, don't be one, ridiculous. <laughs> it, it's one of those things that really gets... And, and also, there's 
even the bad sides of being in the city, I think are great. Like the anonymity of it. People are like, you don't know your neighbours. And I'm like, absolutely, I do not. And I think that's lovely. Because when you go back, there were so many curtains that were twitching. And I was like, oh, is he, is he bought his girlfriend? And, and stuff like this. And, and you're just kind of like, no, I, I want to get on with my life. I want to have fun without people, you know, staring over your shoulder. Well, I think you, you've set out a convincing case there for some, Dave. Uh, thank you so much for coming on and talking to us. Dave Chawner, comedian, author, very much now um, uh, a city lover, um, rejects the whole idea of living in the rural idyll. Not Hates at all. nature. Yeah. What's so good about nature? Great question. 85058. Uh, we'd love your responses to that, please. This is BBC Radio 5 Live.